One of my absolute favorite parts of this movie is the mother-daughter relationship between you and Jenna. It gives it like a really effective beating heart. So I wanted to ask yeah. about working with her. What oh. is something about her as a scene partner that you appreciated and maybe helped you reach something in Lydia that you might not have been able to without her? Oh, Jenna is, she is absolutely one of my favorite people. Like she is, she is, the most authentic person and the most I, I've never had like that's this kind of like we bonded it once we, once like the conversation started it just never stopped and that that is really true I I I, I go to her with with for advice you know she is she is a, a and and she truly I feel like this movie because it was, we talked about it for so long that every, you know, it had to be perfect. And I realized like we were waiting for her to be born and grow up and be that, you know what I mean? She's like the perfect, like puzzle piece to add, you know? And she sort of completes it. Um, and I, it, it was so incredible. I, I don't even have enough adjectives. Like I, I, she's just such a incredible person to to work with and to know, and to know her is to absolutely love her. And then with Catherine, and you know the empathy I now have for her because of my relationship with you know Astrid. It it just. It was, it was, it was a dream. It really was. What a beautiful way to put it. I love yeah. it. And I keep thinking about how special it is that Jenna being in this and Wednesday is ensuring that Tim's work and world keep having an expanding fan base yes. and get to newer generations because that's so yeah. important. And she's shouldering a lot of that. I know. I know. And doing it so well. Mm -hmm. And like, she's so present. She's not... Um, trying to just sort of replicate like she is so she has she puts so much thought into it and it's just so beautiful to watch and that. i'm so grateful you know i feel it in all of her work i know i wanted to veer towards puppets and practical effects which i could talk yeah. about all day long <laughs> i have a two-part question on that because i'm curious to see how your answers differ of all of the practical effects on the first film which would you say was the most wow worthy of the bunch and now on this new film which one blew your mind the most well, in the first one, the, you know, I wasn't, I, you know, I did the floating. I remember being in this, like, harness that, like, Debbie Reynolds had been in and everyone who had been in had signed it. But it was very old and a little uh, not helped with the circulation of your body. <laughs> but um, that seemed very wild and fun, um, but I didn't really get to go into the afterlife, and um, and this this time I did, and it was in in incredible. I mean, mind blowing, and just to know that there are people under all of those, you know, I, it is it's a dream. I mean, like everything these days is CGI. It's like. I, it, and then with AI, ah, mm -hmm. you know, like, I, so to, to see that this can happen and it works and it can look so beautiful and, and miraculous and like weird and, and unique and that, and it's, you don't have to have, I mean, you have to have these incredibly talented puppeteers and, and, but it, uh, yeah, it's inspiring. Feels like a movie made by human hands. Yes, it was. Many human hands. Mm. I mean, there really wasn't any of that other stuff. I love it. It's yeah. so effective. Yeah. It's beautiful and just so incredibly immersive so fast yeah. all over again. I love living in this world. Oh, Thank you so much. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you.